I would like to next uh, recognize uh, CLC English instructor Adam Markheim. Adam is our college's most recent recipient of the prestigious Educator of the Year Award presented by the Minnesota State Colleges and University System Board of Trustees. The Minsky system is comprised of 31 colleges and universities and employs uh, nearly 5,600 full-time faculty. Each uh, year, college faculty, staff, and students from across the system select 70 faculty members to be honored at the Board of Trustee Excellence in Teaching event in St. Paul. From this group, four are chosen and recognized as Educators of the Year. Other CLC faculty who have been honored include Betsy Pashano, a reading instructor, and Darcy Gaden, a nursing instructor. Adam, would you please uh, uh, join me on the podium and share a few words with us about your award and teaching experiences. Good evening. Thank you, President Lundblad. Uh, Trustee Bordeaux, Vice Presidents Heidela and Christensen, Speakers Austin and Geisey, Deans Keene, Kent, Burkholtz, Carrolls, faculty, staff, graduates, friends, and family. I am profoundly grateful to receive this award and wear this medallion. Though I'm getting a rash around the back of my neck because the color seems to be coming off in the shower. <laughs> to whom do we owe the people we have become? It's a question I pose to students regularly and is particularly apt today. Audre Lorde, one of my favorite authors, asks her readers this same question in the preface to her book, Zami, a new spelling of my name. It's the biomythography of her genesis as a woman, a writer, and a fervent civil rights activist. In it, the protagonist, Audre Lorde, grows up. She experiences and overcomes trauma. She falls in love. She survives heartbreak. She travels. She goes to school, and then she goes to college. By the end, she learns who she is to remake herself and begins to pen some of the most revolutionary poetry in American literature. She expects a lot from the world, justice, for starters. And she expects a lot from her readers, mainly that we recognize that who we are is a function of the discourse with those around us. As teachers, this means the students have played an integral part in our qualities and accomplishments alongside our own training and hard work. This Educator of the Year Award is the happy consequence of learning partnership. Somewhere in this medallion, for example, are the students I had 20 years ago, one of whom, five minutes into my very first class, stood up, spat out a slew of profanity, offered an unmistakable hand gesture, and jumped out the nearest window, running across the soccer field when he hit the ground. Let's just say there were no Educators of the Year awards that year. But somewhere else, in this medallion, a cherished part, a much larger portion, are the students, faculty, and staff here at CLC. In a class which ended yesterday, for example, honors program students leveraged their hard-won research skills to host a complex and informed conversation with institutional leaders about how to make Central Lakes College even better. One of those students will be speaking later this evening. Another student still needs to return the copy of my Audre Lorde book. Oh, yes. 
All of them, however, all of us, we prove that we can grow. Because we are a community, we transform together. So, graduates and fellow learners, know that whenever I wear this, I'll think always of you. Good luck, and thank you.